you want the good news or the bad news first? And he said, the good news is you're going to Rio. And so just, you know, I saw my birthday. I'm just, I'm hanging out with my team. We're doing a volunteer activity. And, and I just get the news, like, you're going to the Paralympics. Like, you're, you're going to get your dream thrown on you, basically. I just went, and it was an amazing experience. I didn't expect anything from it, but I ended up having a first round win in both singles and doubles, which was crazy. And it has really been just so motivating for me to do even better. And I want to compete in Tokyo, but I want to make it for real this time. I want to qualify for myself. I had no idea what I was capable of or what opportunities there were out there for me until I just got out there and I pursued the sport that I loved and it's really just, it's changed my life and I, I encourage anyone out there to just pick up a sport. It doesn't have to be tennis, but pick up a sport and I know, I know life is tough, you know, being disabled physically or mentally or anything, but really sport has, has changed my life. It, it's been such a positive influence on my life and it has brought me to all these places. I've been around the world to the Paralympics. I, I get to go to this awesome school and everything. So really just getting out there um, and, and seeking help wherever you can because I had no idea where it would take me until now. And I'm still rewriting my story like every second of the day. My clearest goal is to make it to Tokyo. If I choose to go on, there's always Paris, but I kind of want to focus on my career after that because it's been such a balance and I've been balancing these two things for such a long time that maybe I might want to shift my focus onto a career that's going to last for the rest of my life.